Yo guys, so I just woke up and I had a message from Cheese, one of the modders that you guys know pretty well that works on a lot of the mods that I actually cover. And uh, he said the big secret was found. It was the robot tech dinos, or whatever you want to call them. They were hidden under robot, which is the last thing I would have actually searched. I was always searching tech and stuff. I just wanted to take a moment to show you guys what these things look like. And the old tech dinos actually look a lot different compared to these things. So, uh, we're just gonna get into that. I just want to let you know now, though, that I have my own ARC server hosted by Nitrato. Pretty stable. I'm pretty happy about it. So, you should probably join on over with me and hang out. I'll leave a link in the description of the video. Also, if you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like, because you guys killed it on the last one, and I really appreciate that. So, I wanted to go over the Tech Rex first, because there's something different about it. And maybe I'm going crazy, but I feel like its eyes are different, and the mouth is a little bit different, I feel like. I, I, I don't know... I don't think there's anything else different about it right now, but I feel like something has been modified with this thing, and it looks a little bit more gritty than what I remember. But maybe that's just in the dev kit, or maybe this is a separate type. Because I know over there, when I show you the Tech Raptor, the uh, Bionic Raptor, which, by the way, I think these are like the pre-order skins, so if you were one of the backers of the game, I guess, way long ago, whenever you can get these skins or whatever, which I'm hoping they add uh, Bionic skins for everything, which <laughs> that'd be amazing if they did do that, because I like the Bionic skins a lot. But I feel like they did something with the Tech Rex. I'm not sure what it is. The Tech Giga too, uh, it has more of a glossy sheen to it compared to this guy, which is very rugged and beaten up and just like, hey man, I decided to go to hell today and... Uh, wasn't a good time, but <laughs> this guy is small in the dev kit right now. I don't know why. I have no idea why it's so small right now in the dev kit. I just, I, I'm, I don't know. It was always the, like, one of the biggest creatures, and they, they downsized it. But, I mean, they did wonders for the texturing. I can tell you that much to downsize the creature. I mean, it always does wonders for the textures. But those are the two old creatures that we had in the dev kit to check out that everyone freaked out about. Here is the Bionic Moza. Now, this has the tech saddle on it, too, just so you know. The tech saddle is actually mounted onto this guy right now because I just wanted to see because, like, it's a, it's like a super amped up tech creature, and I didn't know if it would actually fit on top of the skeleton or not. And, I mean, it fits perfectly, I, assuming I have it, you know, set up correctly and stuff. I think I have the placement right. Maybe it should go ahead a tiny, tiny bit more. Like one? No. Oh, my bad. Maybe like right there. Maybe that's what it needs. Yeah, like that lines up great. I think anyways. Let me just see the eyes. No, hang on. Uh, okay, it's going to be a little bit weird because like it's so much tech and metal and shit. Let me just move that away. I'll show you. Yeah, that was lined up. So this is the actual skin itself without the tech saddle on it. And it looks great. I'm loving it. I'm loving how big the fin is glowing and stuff. And uh, it really stands out. Like it stands out big time. Now... I, the only thing I wish about these skins was that they had something unique, like unique sounds are silly. Oh man, you've got skeleton fingers going on there. Anyway, what's this one? Yeah, it had the giant, like, awesome plates and stuff of tech stuff. And then this guy kind of just has fingers. I don't, I'm not big on that. Not really big on that at all, but... Um, I just wish they had some kind of special ability, because, like, they get this awesome skin. Maybe change up the attacks, maybe give them a little bit of an animation variation or something like that. Maybe make them sound more robotic when you equip this skin. I mean, that's all ideas I could use. Actually, noticing now, I feel like the face is slimmer on this guy than the normal Moza, but maybe it's just because it's made out of metal. And they don't need all that, like, bulky bone and, uh, and flesh and stuff. But, I mean, that looks thin. That'd be a bitch to fix one of those teeth that are cracked off. Wait, are the teeth even joined? Oh, the teeth aren't joined. What the... What? The teeth are kind of just hovering there. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So anyways, the Stego. You guys were asking. Hang on, no. I'm going to do this one first because you guys wanted to know about the tech trike. Like if it would ever be a thing. And well, now you know it's going to be a thing. Which is pretty cool. I'm loving, I'm loving this right here. I love how the shield is just right here like this. And you have these two, blow, these two uh, glowing uh, accents on the sides. I actually really, really love that. Um, as far as this guy goes too... I know they're going to be reworking the trike and like the majority of the old dinosaurs. So I mean, this is going to be an it's just going to be an amazing refresher when they actually put this in the game too. Has like a a giant spike on its tail. What the hell? 
It'd be kind of cool if it could like tail whip things like that's that right there. Special attack right there. Tech Trait can hit like a scorpion. That sounds pretty stupid, doesn't it? Maybe I shouldn't make suggestions for Ark. <laughs> no, I'm not going to make any suggestions for Ark. <laughs> but you can see it looks pretty nice. Its teeth are actually really sharp too. Like this guy is all around just going to be a bad time. I don't like the horns. I don't really like how the horns are. Like I like the variation and the angle and stuff, but I'm not big on those horns. I feel like, well, then like, eh, I think it suits. I mean, it suits. It's just I don't like the angling of them. Don't get me wrong, guys, but I don't know. And it looks nice either way. But yeah, that's the tech trike. You guys were asking about it. So, the, I mean, there it is. It's going to be a thing, which is cool. And when they rework the animations and they rework the uh, attacks and give this guy like his special gore attack, it's going to be even more badass. It's going to be amazing. I really hope, by the way, that this reacts like the tech shield where um like the i showed it in yesterday's video where if you get shot from the side this will actually stop the bullet that would be really cool but <laughs> i'm gonna move back over here to the stego i feel like the stego got the most blue accenting actually definitely like look at all that and look holy shit yo look at that that's savage oh the stego is gonna look so cool when it attacks with those I think this is the Stego. Yeah, this is the Stego. I was gonna say, is this the Kentro? But no, the spikes aren't big enough for that. Because if it was the if it was the Kentro, it'd be that much more badass, just because of the fact that the Kentro can impale things and then lift them off the ground and like, you know, whip them around and and, and destroy them basically and make their moms cry because well, it's just such a bad. It's 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 just a brutal ass kicking basically. I don't see that weird jet engine thing they usually have inside the mouth. Like you see this, this is like a common thing inside their mouth. And uh, the Stego doesn't have that, so maybe it doesn't need that much of an air intake. Because it's a smaller creature. I mean, I feel like this one looks more full. Almost like it is a, a, like a body under tech armor. I don't know, that's kind of cool. I Dude, a tech saddle for the Stego. That'd be kind of cool. If they could have tech saddles for all of these creatures... That'd be pretty cool. Except for the Parasaur. Parasaur is kind of useless, but we're, we're going to check him out anyways. And I mean, he's looking good too. Kind of ish okay, I guess. I mean, I like the face, at least. The tail's looking good. Everything, they have like this this uh, layered scale armor type of feel. That's the type of, that's like the type of feeling I get from these right now. Like the scale armor, just layered to shit kind of feel. That's what I get from this. I mean, it looks good, but uh, I think... Uh, I think the Parasaur itself is not a menacing creature and trying to tech this guy out. Like I understand it's one of the it's one of the old creatures. Wait a second, because No, Moses the Moses not that that old or that new. I'm trying to think, when was the Moza put into the game? Was that in the no, that wasn't in the launch, I don't think. Because I think the Moza came Around the time of the Giga, I'm not sure. I know I, I don't think the Moza was in launch though. I lo like the Spino. The Spino came shortly after launch. Dude, they should have done a Spino skin. Yo, is there gonna be a Bionic Spino? Dude, I'm gonna check real quick, guys. Let me just let me just show you if there's going to be a Bionic Spino. Because that would actually be really cool. I mean it makes sense to me if they if they did all the launch dinosaurs, since it's like a uh, a launch event kind of thing. But I don't see anything. No, I don't see anything for the Spinos. Bionic stuff. They need a Bionic Spino. That would be so cool. Can you imagine what they could do with that fin? That'd be amazing. But anyways, that is the Parasaur. And it has never been a impressive creature to me. Moving into the Raptor, which I'm kind of confused because there's two Raptors. And can you put these skins on the babies is what I'm kind of wondering now because a baby tech Raptor would be cool as hell. It's just like, why would it grow? Would it be nanotechnology just dividing and multiplying until it gets to the point where it's like a fully grown Raptor? I don't know, but I think this is just the downsized version of it just so like they could see how the texturing was and how the skin was working at like different sizes. And then this guy is the full size just... I'm a total badass, and there's nothing you can really do to stop me from killing you. Makes sense to me. He doesn't have the thing either. No, he doesn't have it. Uh, one thing that gets me, though, is the spines, because, like... <laughs> we gotta ride these things, wild card. Is there, is there something you're trying to do? Are you trying to cause some infertility issues in the art community? <laughs> like, it looks badass, though. It looks really good. I like... I like... 
I like these on the back of the neck. I hear a loud ass vehicle going down the road, but I really like these. I like the sheen they have. I like the color. I like everything about those. By the way, I will have a mod soon too that's going to be bringing these into the game. Cheese will be working on that along with the sword, the shield, and the tech wyvern saddle. Those are already in the game right now. Uh, he's already messed with those and got them working. The mod's not public. I think it's up to him if he wants to make it public or not. Because, I mean, it is just the the saddles and stuff and, like, the, the new weapons. But uh, Oh, I have to show you something with the Tech Wyvern saddle, too. Because we kind of messed... Well, I messed up. I can't even put this on you guys because I messed up. I messed up big time. But you guys let me know what you think about the Tech Raptor, the Bionic Raptor. There's the trike we just covered. And here is the last one, the Bionic Quets. Looking pretty. Whoa, look at those wings. Which, by the way, I haven't actually looked at these yet. Like, I haven't looked at any of them. I kind of just got told by Cheese, hey, they're in the dev kit. And, well, I jumped in right away and I was like, holy shit, I messed up because I can't believe I missed something this big. But these are looking good. I'm loving the plates again. Oh, yeah, they look great. And the amazing thing about Wildcard 2 is they do they just have this crazy team of talented modelers and texturers and stuff. So like, you know, when it comes to tech stuff and what their game is about, they're going to do it on point. And they really did it on point. Like just the detailing in these plates alone. It's so nice to see like that awesome aqua blue with like the sky coloring and stuff in it. The body itself is pretty small too. I like it. The legs are bionic as shit. Wow, look at that. Like they actually put in different things too. Holy shit, it actually, you can actually go all the way up here too. Cool, you can see up its leg. It's like a, like a little pipe for an ankle. I just don't know how these things would actually like move around because there's no mechanical parts or like, um, compressors or hydraulics or anything attached to any of the ankles. Now I know that's too far in depth, I know, but I'm a little bit of a, a negative Nancy when it comes to that stuff for movement and shit, but... I, I feel like I'll make it more steampunky, actually. Yeah, I think it would. There's no giant fan in this thing's mouth. Did I see it on... Yeah, the trike has it. The trike has that air fan. Wait, what is that? Oh, okay. I thought I thought it moved for a second. That kind of that kind of got me. Underneath it looks pretty good. Now, what I need to do is I need to show you something with the Tech Wyvern saddle because I messed up. Here is the Tech Wyvern saddle. And I messed up because I said it didn't have a weapon, but when I had looked at the model that Cheese had rigged, or not the not the model, the uh, uh, um, the saddle that he brought into the game, damn it! When I was flying it, I had seen the gun down right here somewhere. Like there's a one, it's just one little cannon, and that's it. And it makes sense now that it would be somewhere on this. There was a gun. Don't know. Don't know if it's supposed to be on this thing or not, but. I mean, it's, it's, it was there. I swear, like, it was there. I saw it. I saw it with my own two eyes. So, if you guys want me to cover these creatures in the future and show you just what they look like in-game, because, I mean, the dev kit is great and all, but I feel like everything, no matter what, looks really good in the dev kit, and then they scale it down a little bit because it just looks too badass. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like everything they put into the dev kit in some way, shape, or form, just looks way better than what they have in-game. That's just the way that I've seen things in the dev kit, like these nice metal sheens and stuff, and everything that's going on in the dev kit, like, you don't have to load as much stuff in the dev kit as you do in the game, I don't think, so, like, the game itself is going to be a lot more taxing, so they probably have to, like, throttle it down and lower the quality on things and change some things up so they're not, like, laggy and so they're optimized and you know since wildcard is going through a giant optimi optimization uh thing right now that they'll be optimizing this too and trying to make sure they don't take up much uh much of your ram or video ram or anything like that i'm betting anyways i need to know from you guys too if this tech rex is different because i i don't want to i'm hoping i'm not being a dumbass right now but something seems different about it maybe it's just because i've only seen it in game and i haven't messed around with it in the dev kit because i have only seen it in the game uh on my tech rex actually in my pvp video which <laughs> ever gonna do that again <laughs> um <laughs> God damn it, yeah, I'm never gonna do a video like that again. Holy shit. <laughs> Wanted to have some fun, god damn it, and freaking people. God damn, people are relentless. But I've only seen it in game. And I mean that's basically it. I don't know if they've updated these to make them more high res to match the new bionic ones. I don't even know if these bionic ones are gonna like well, this one probably, but 
this one probably doesn't even fall in like the uh the same category as what those ones do to be honest with you but anyways guys that is it for the video i hope you enjoyed it i want to know from you what your favorite tech creature is in the comments section let me know the bionic creatures what do you like the most me it is this guy right here the trike because i'm loving the shield i love how protected you feel just behind this just try and shoot me bitches you're not gonna get me though and then i'm gonna gore you with two of my giant crooked horns that's basically it though guys leave a like if you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video